Hi everybody, I'm Iman and I'm doing this video today because one simple email that I received from a very good friend of mine has led to a community outpouring for a very touching story. And I really thought that the best way to tell the story was through video. Um, this email came from a friend of mine, Karen, who actually we've done a lot of uh, events uh, with in the past for an organization called Food for All DC. She's a, an amazing volunteer for that organization. And when she read this email, I really just wanted to help out in any which way possible. And what was a very, very small thing that I was helping out with has led to a lot of my friends and a lot of colleagues that I have in the wedding industry wanting to help out. And so I would rather have Karen actually tell the story of why she wrote me an email and what led to actually that email being sent in the first place. So. Without any further ado, here's my dear friend, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this wonderful film that Iman and Exclusively Entertainment and all his team has generously offered to help uh, record a wonderful and moving story of a friend of mine named Amber, who I've met four years ago. And she has five wonderful children and she is getting married on Valentine's Day to a wonderful, responsible man named Trey. And Iman is going to make the wedding of her dreams come true. What really moved me about Amber's story is my watching her transform from a woman who seemed like there was a lot of trouble in her life, but I was always a little bit just apprehensive about approaching her and I would see her children and they had a sadness in their eyes and I always wanted to help out because I have worked with um, people in the community of, of uh, volunteers that help women in domestic violence situations and I knew Amber was in a situation where she needed help she needed to get out and um, probably felt trapped. It's a lot easier for uh, victim of, victims of domestic violence to stay in the situation than to leave. Um, as I got more involved in other charity efforts, I always had my eye on Amber, knowing that someday she was going to overcome the trials in her life. She had a strength even then um, that gave me the faith that one day I would be able to approach her and, and offer help. And then one night, it was Halloween, and I, I saw Amber with a gentleman, and I knew right away that he was going to change her life. And in times, there are times in life where you meet friends and future spouses and loved ones that you know will bring the best out of you. And I knew that Amber had met her soul's counterpoint and I just saw a romance bloom and I also saw this gentleman receive her children as if they were her own and it was very moving and incredible to see joy restored to all five children to see Amber smile again laugh again and the kids just I feel like look at life with love and hope again. So I ran into Amber last week on Wednesday night. I asked her how she was doing and she kind of opened up to me and told me she was getting married to this gentleman that I had seen her with. And I was so excited. And right away I was like, oh, where are you getting married? Do you have a dress? What are you doing? And um, I detected a worry in her, but I, I didn't really say anything yet. I realized that the only thing that was secure was a party room and she didn't really have anything else and she doesn't have the means right now. She's a single mom, she has five children, she's unemployed, she's in a training program and trying to build her life on her own. And now with the addition of Trey, her fiance in her life, they're making a new life for themselves. And when I asked her about the wedding details and saw that there basically weren't any, I just I, I couldn't sleep that night and it was late at night and I just started writing 
and I wrote an email to my dear friend Iman, whom I consider is a living angel among us. He has helped me so much with charitable work in the D.C. area. And I wrote him an email, and I, I told him about Amber's story, and I just started writing a list of things that I thought, if I put it out there in the universe, maybe we can make Amber's dreams come true. And the next morning, I had three missed calls from Iman. I was in a meeting, and when I returned his call, he just was so enthusiastic. He was like, I want to do this. Let, let's get on board. And it has literally been a snowball effect of goodwill ever since. I am so grateful and humbled by the outpour of love, generosity, support, energy, time that Iman, exclusively entertainment, all his friends and colleagues, family and network have given to this cause and to make Amber's wishes come true. I'm so grateful for Iman putting out this story on his Facebook page on Friday in the afternoon and within three hours he received 40 requests of people wanting to give wedding dresses and cakes and centerpieces and buying clothes for the children and it's just non-stop uh, excitement from all around and I'm so excited her wedding is a little over a week away and things are starting to unfold and thank you so much Iman for everything you've done for Amber and um, we hope to share with the community Amber's story of endurance, persistence, hope, and s surviving the unthinkable. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy the film. Karen, we appreciate you uh, sharing the story, and thank you so much for all your kind words, as always. Um, again, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege and honor for us to be a part of this thing. And at this point, I wanted to personally thank all my close friends, all my friends, all my uh, uh, colleagues in the, in the wedding industry that reached out to me um, and, and wanted to help out this lovely couple. And speaking of the couple, uh, I thought it was very, very important to put two faces to um, these individuals that we mentioned needed a little bit of uh, assistance to make their wedding amazing. And so they're here tonight too, and I wanted to introduce them and thank them for taking the time to be here tonight. We have the beautiful bride-to-be, Amber, and her fiancé, Trey. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And uh, please feel say hi to everybody who's uh, watching. Hi, everyone. Hello, we both want to personally uh, thank you all for taking the time to listen to my story. And also, both of us want to thank you for all your donations and everything you're trying to do to help us for our, this amazing wedding. Um, we really do appreciate all that you are doing. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I want to say it, thank you to everybody for pitching in and helping. We really appreciate it. And Amber really deserves everything that's being done for her. Thank you again. I basically just wanted to share my story with um, other women and the potential of hopefully no other woman well it would basically stop no other woman having to go through this so this is just a little bit of my story my story basically most most of it actually uh, when growing up in my life I got pregnant at 15 and I had a beautiful daughter at 16 years old I had to learn independency real quick I worked and went to school to finish my education in high school it was very hard then for me I couldn't attend prom, never rode in a limo, had to just take care of my baby. Father left when she was two months, two months old and never really been a part of her life. I then at 16 and having my daughter met my last, I mean, met my last four boys father in which I wish I never met him. It started off bad within a year. He already was abusing me physically and emotionally. He cut off all ties with my, from my family and friends. He didn't allow me to speak to anyone. I had children with him, but I was still treated the same. The only thing that hurt me the most is my children sometimes witnessing the abuse. It really hurt, and I knew I had to get out of it for me and them. He would black my eyes, smack me around, try to 
choke me. I mean, any type of beat you could imagine, I went through it. I experienced, um, I'm sorry, he was good with his children most of the time other than him abusing me. I dealt with this almost 11 years. I was so afraid to leave him because he threatened to kill me before. So I was petrified in this situation. He even went as far as knocking my mother down in the floor and cursing my grandparents. He had, he had me feeling like I was worthless, ugly, not ever able to find someone having five kids. It was the worst feeling I could ever go through in life and still mentally affects me till this day. I also had to go through my mother having a brain injury and almost not living from it. And my ex would never let me see her or talk to her. It was horrible feeling as well. So one day I woke up, had bruises on my body and looked in the mirror and said to myself, today I'm leaving and no matter what I do, I'm not coming back and I did. I left and then he threw the kids out with me in which I wanted them to stay home until I find a place because sometimes I would have to sleep in my truck. I called police and everything to make him leave and he wouldn't leave and the police just basically told me they can't make a father be a father. He made me lose my job I loved and since then I haven't been able to find another job as being an assistant hairstylist slash receptionist at a salon. And by him calling my job so much, when I, left, when, I, when I left him, my boss let me go. During this time, I met the man of my dreams, Trey. Even though I was going through a lot, he still was there. My children's father finally left, so then I was able to come back in my apartment with my children. Trey, my fiancé, just automatically embraced my children as if they were his own. I believe love at first sight because the energy and spiritual belief I felt around him, I know he was a knight in shining armor for me. I know God put him here in front of me for a reason. He's treated me amazing ever since, made me feel human once again, that I'm beautiful and worthy of all. So even though going through all I went through, I still found true love in the end. Trey is a piece of the puzzle that was missing and I'm ready to live this amazing life with him and grow old together for he and my children are the loves of my life. Thank you all for your time to listen to me and to basically listen to practically my whole life since I was a teenager. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this clip. Uh, I hope that now that you actually know the story, you can understand why we decided to um, create this video and share it with all of you. Uh, speaking of sharing, I really want to thank Trey and Amber uh, especially Amber for um, having the strength and courage to want to share the story that she went through. Uh, I know it wasn't easy and um, I really commend her for wanting to um, wanting to do this. Uh, it, was, it was her idea. She wanted to do it and she wanted to kind of be a voice for uh, other people who are perhaps going through the same thing that she went through. So um, I congratulate her for having the, the, the will and courage to overcome what she experienced. Um, but now I'm happy that Pius had reached out to me. I'm happy that we were able to play a small part in making her wedding uh, uh, dreams come true. And I especially want to thank everybody, our friends, our colleagues, um, who are, who are um, partaking in this endeavor. Um, we only have a few days to go until the wedding, and we can't wait to share with you um, the effects of all of your um, gracious donations, whether it was a service, your time, your, your financial contribution, I know this entire family appreciates it. So thank you all again, and we wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day, and we can't wait to uh, share the beautiful footage of their wedding. Have a good night. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm 11. Hi, I'm Dominic. Hi, this is Nicholas, and my name's Adriana. Thank, thank you, everybody. everybody. We, we love, love you. you.